think the product is fragrance. Or is that my hand? I don't know. We're gonna fix it, okay? If you've been here, then you already know what it is, okay? And it shouldn't take all of that. So then is this full coverage? and welcome to a different setup. This morning, I'm using a brand new light that I'll link below that I just love in this setting. If you like this more moody setting, then comment and let me know. In this video, I'm going to be using for the first time in, it's been far too long, this YSL All Hours Foundation. It's luminous matte foundation. It has up to 24 hours of full coverage wear. Isn't this bottle just so sexy? This is the shade DC9. Now, interestingly enough, I was nervous when I looked at the actual product in the bottle because I thought this is way too dark. However, it is a frosted glass, that's number one. And number two, you really have to just try things on your skin. Now, I always say this because I need to, because I'll start putting on the makeup, which I'm gonna start now, and then I'll get comments like, that's too dark, that's too this. You have to understand that I like for my foundation to be a little dark because then once the whole look is done, it all comes together. I've done foundation reviews time and time again where the foundation, when I first put it on, matches my skin tone well. When the full look is done, I am not happy with how it looks, okay? So I did swatch this in the bathroom of the day because I thought it was gonna be too dark. I proved my own case. It looked different in the bottle. It worked well. We're gonna get to it. Now, I've used this one or two times in the past. This is the Milk Makeup for Eclipse Mattifying Primer. I'm gonna use this to prime my face. I have done my skincare. It is six in the morning, in case you're wondering. I'm gonna use this in my teaser zone area. If you don't already know, priming should take place where you need it. So this is a mattifying primer. I'm going to put it in my T-zone, which is where I want to stay matte. Is this primer fantastic? Is it, you know, high powered matte? I like to call it. Not really. A lot of this stuff depends on what you paired it with and also where you are the day that you wear it. Today is going to be a rainy day and I think it'll go up to 75-ish. So we'll see how this wears on my skin, but uh, it's not like a product that right away makes my skin feel dehydrated. For instance, there are products like the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop primer. When you put that on, you will immediately see it dry. It's like, it sucks the moisture right out of your face. This does not do that. Now, you know, I like to apply foundation with a brush. I'm gonna put some back of my hand and look, off rip is like, excuse me, but let's check it out. Now, with this makeup kit right here, the brush that I have is this flat kabuki. Any flat kabuki will do, honestly. So look at that. You can look at that and say, what? There's no way that that's going to match. But what's going to happen is that it's going to match more so the perimeter of my face, not the middle of my face. See how I had a lot of product over here? This really is full coverage. I just used a little bit from my hand. There's a lot more product here. We're gonna blend, don't worry. But just look at when I use a little bit of product over here, it blends a lot better, you see? So the shade is deeper. Yes, of course. And we're gonna do the whole face and it's all gonna come together because this is what I always do, you know? <laughs> But this is full coverage. I'm liking it already. When I first did the swatch, I was really impressed. And I didn't do my whole face, I just swatched. I think the product is fragrance, or is that my hand? I don't know. And I'm pouncing because I want to get the full coverage aspect. We're not gonna be here rubbing it on. That's not gonna do what I need it to do. I wanted to just sit where it is, okay? This is done, I'm gonna apply some more. Take it just a little bit because this is really full coverage. I know my face looks dark, we're gonna fix it, okay? If you've been here, then you already know what it is, okay? Okay, now I know that this shade is gonna be perfect for me in the summertime because obviously I'll be in the sun and my skin will get a tan. Now let's see how this comes out on the eyebrows because maybe it's not that full coverage because normally when I put foundation over my eyebrows the microblading disappears this is not covering it so then is this full coverage it says that it's full coverage but it's not that full coverage because my other full coverage foundations would have been covered my brows so the color is dark yes but it's not giving me as much full coverage as I would like I mean I don't want to put on a lot of foundation, it shouldn't take all of that. It really should not take all of that. It's away a little bit, but not as much as it should be. But I do like this. Now I can say, I'm sure that if I were to go one shade lighter, it would work well for me, but I just don't know if that one shade lighter will be warm. Cause this is DC, cool, deep cool. I wonder if that one shade lighter would be warm. I don't know, cause I don't like warm. <laughs> I'm gonna finish the whole look and then come back 
and let you know what I think. All right, so we have finished the look and I would like to say, like I told you that this looks beautiful. Love how the foundation looks on my face. I wasn't gonna do a wear test, but I feel like I should. You're gonna ask me and I know it. So I will do a wear test and check in with you in a little bit. Wear test check-in, my face is very dewy. I actually waited to show you my face before I blot because wow, it is very dewy. This is a luminous matte foundation. Did I forget that it was luminous matte? I just thought it was matte. <laughs> it's luminous matte. And this milk primer did not help me, okay? I would reserve this for cooler, colder days. I do not like this on a 70 degree weather day. I haven't even really been outside. And when I say that, I mean, I'm, I haven't been walking around outside. Outside of getting in out of the car, I haven't been outside. So this is just the healthy matte look of the foundation. We'll see how this looks later on tonight, but I like it. I like how it all came together. It's just, it's more on the luminous side. I would not call it luminous matte. I would just call it luminous. Now, it's not as luminous as the Mario skin. It was a skin something, that foundation. No, that one was like water glass. I mean, juiciness, right? This is not that. So perhaps that's why. And I'm just, I know that they're both different levels of luxury and non-luxury, but I'm just saying in, in terms of the intensity of the dew, it's not that level, of course. Maybe that's why it's called luminous matte because it's in between. I would call it satin though, but you know, that's okay. SEO, I get it. I'll check in with you in a little bit. All right, wrapping up the night, my sentiments are still the same. It looks good. I blotted my face one time and I think it still looks good. The shade, like I said, all came together. So I wouldn't see myself changing the shade. I feel like this would work. I certainly, however, would still only wear this in cold weather times. I'm ready to take this wig off and go to bed, honey. So let me know if you've tried this foundation, what you think about it. I would love to know in the comments below. All links are below as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.